All right, so in case you guys are wondering what this menagerie is here with uh, cables and cords and a motherboard sitting on a box, um, this is the uh, this is my Asus Sabertooth 990FX Revision 1 board. This board's been down for a while. It, uh, the BIOS got corrupted in it, and I went on eBay and I ordered a, a BIOS chip, a replacement BIOS chip, and uh, the BIOS chip that was in here, it would come up to the splash screen and then uh, it would go to a, a fixed cursor and that was it, it wouldn't do anything else. So when I got the new ones, the uh, it wouldn't get past the CPU check light, which is the first light that goes on. It goes CPU, DDR, um, VGA, and then uh, boot. And, and then it'll boot up. It wouldn't get past that. So I contacted the guy and I told him there's something wrong with it. And he sent me another one and it did the exact same thing. So I got fed up and I bought one of those uh, USB uh, EEPROM programmers and I pro reprogrammed my original BIOS chip on here and got everything back up and working. So that was kind of cool. And uh, you, know, you see everything's functioning on here. Um, underneath this uh, Wraith Prism cooler there's a uh, Phenom 2 X6 1035T 2.6 gigahertz 6 core CPU. We got uh, eight, just 8 gigabytes of uh, DDR3 1866 and an overclocked RX 580 that we're going to be doing some testing with here. We're going to be pushing this Phenom and see how far we can overclock it. Now it's a, a locked CPU, so we're going to have to use the uh, the front side bus. Basically, we can't change the multiplier on it, but we'll see how high we can push that. And as you see, we're in the process of getting everything all set up right now. So as soon as we get everything set up, we'll come back and check it out. There it is. The station.
Okay, what benchmarking wouldn't be complete without some Cinebench R15? At 2.6 GHz, we got a score of 401 with a single core score of 81. And at 3.7 GHz, our score went up to 548. And I did do a single core run as well, I just forgot to add it to the video here, and that scored 97. And here you can see the configuration the system was running at, GPU, CPU, memory, bus frequencies, etc. Uh, we'll go into the BIOS here and take a look at my settings there as well. Okay, so here in the BIOS, I start out with the XMP profile for 1866 and a max multiplier for this lock CPU, which is 13. I was able to raise the bus frequency all the way to 285, although at that high of a frequency, I had major stability problems with this kit of RAM. So I had to go down on the multiplier and run it at 1519. I was able to push the CPU Northbridge and Hyper Transport link frequencies to 2565 without stability issues. Unfortunately, at this high bus frequencies, the multiplier makes huge jumps for all your other frequencies. Um, this is just pretty standard uh, LLC stuff here. Now here you can see the V core that I had to set to run at 3.7 up from 1.47 volts v-core at 3.6 gigahertz so this was indeed the very limit of the CPU and finally I did have to tweak some other voltages for stability especially for the memory controller bus speeds that high tend to want to make everything unstable so in conclusion 
Is a 6 core phenom still a good CPU for gaming? Yeah, it actually is. Should you overclock it? Absolutely. I, as you can see, the performance increases are just just huge when you when you overclock your CPU and, and your other frequencies as well. Should you go out and buy a Phenom? Uh, no. For 600 bucks, you can build a decent gaming system that, that includes everything that you need with a 6-core, 12-thread CPU, DDR4 memory, um, SSD, and all that. So, But if you have one laying around, or if you happen to find one for an incredibly good deal, uh, yeah, then it's probably well worth it. There are some restrictions uh, regarding the, I believe it's SSSC 3 or 3.1 instruction set that this chip happens to be lacking. Um, it, it is in the 6-core FX series, but we're going we're gonna to test that next and see how that does, and then we'll compare it with this Phenom. So we'll see you on the next one.